Papa. Happy birthday, Robin. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean... Yes, it is time. Would you fetch me that box, please? Ava was sure that Robin would rise to the occasion. Go ahead, open it. This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you, others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the Shrine Tree for the other Firefly's blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Oh, before I forget, a little something of mine to mark the occasion. Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Robin a gift. Ava's favorite pendant, set with a giant... Sapphire! Now, off you go. try out my magic book and all at once Robin was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life Cargo duty all the time. Robin oh, loved throwing stones just looking at over it. the rooftops, but not today. Ah, me. Go on! Look, Robin has the book. <gasps> today, the Firefly Shrine was waiting. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bass has gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. I'll take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Robin. Happy birthday. No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Robin. But Robin has one. But well, that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to hush. About the world that lay beyond.
seen that boot for a while, Robin. You're off to see the fireflies. Let me get the gate. Ah! Blast! Robin couldn't wait to see the fireflies. Soon they'd bless her as new village guardian. What's being a guardian going to be like, Firefly? I hope it's adventurous. Let's swing into adventure. Robin crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. Bell to announce her arrival. At last, the tree was in sight, home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Go on, show them what you can do. It? They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy. That birthed stars. And forged suns. Now she was part of it. Forever. And so Robin became the new Firefly Guardian. But her biggest adventure was yet to come. Hello, Journal. This time of the year, it gets dark so early. Like the day is just an accident. And the night is how the world really works. Stars and fireflies glowing in the dark. I've never actually seen a firefly. Do you think that matters, Journal? Glowing things are cool, especially in nature. On holiday in Wales, Gran and I would go to the beach and look up at the stars. But one night, we looked down instead. The stars were shining in the water. It was like the sky got flipped upside down. We took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles, glowed beneath our toes. Gran said it was called bioluminescence. Tiny plankton in the water being moved back and forth by the tide. I 
knew it was just little creatures. But it felt like magic. I got up very early the next morning. I sneaked into the kitchen, got a jam jar, and went down to the shore to where I'd seen the plankton. evening, I was so excited. I carefully put the jar on my bedside table. And waited for the night. But it didn't glow. I was devastated. I showed Gran the jar. She laughed. Gran always says. You can't put a cork in nature. They need sunlight and nutrients from the tide. Gran knows about those things. She used to be a marine biologist. Gran bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. Water. Sand. Glass stones. Pebbles. Corals. Lights. A house. Company. We took pictures for Gran's photo album, for our future selves to remember. How the tank took ages to fill. How we took turns, stirring the algae in. How happy we were when we had it all set. Just needs time to develop, said Gran. After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water. My own bit of magic. was mum. She just got a call. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. I have a weird feeling in my stomach. Something I don't know how to deal with. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. I don't want to believe it. I can't lose her.